Hello everyone, this isn't too much of a formal video. Uh, I made a couple of pieces of furniture a while back. I made uh, the kitchen cabinet slash bar and I made a jewelry box for Donna. I never really built it to show it on YouTube so I'm missing a lot of the details but I really just want to share it because with a little research or a lot in my case you can do it with just some tools you know you can do just about anything you want to do. So let's get started and see how this turns out. So this is the furniture I bought 16 years ago when I bought the house and you can see there's a ladder there in the middle. I was still painting the closet when the furniture came in. When I bought it, uh, I did not buy two pieces. I did not buy the nightstand, the whole chest, or the jewelry box. When I wanted to buy the jewelry box for Donna as a gift, uh, they didn't sell it anymore. But Black Hawk USA went out of business. So I started searching on eBay and some other sites to see if I could find the jewelry box. But uh, the only one I saw is in the picture right here. And uh, so I just got the details from it, the measurements, and uh, that's when I started planning my work. So this is the design I came up with in SketchUp. I learned SketchUp by watching Jay Bates on YouTube, and uh, one other piece I designed was a uh, kitchen bar slash cabinet. But uh, this is the basic of what you see laid out, and this was based on the little thumbnail I saw and the picture you saw earlier. So I made a cut list and uh, I cut out all my pieces first. Now when I made this design, I made it so I'd have to do as little cutting as possible. So I kind of redesigned it a little bit so I could use uh, all stock oak, either one by sixes or one by twos. And uh, later that came to bite me a little bit because not all one by sixes were created equal. Some of them were three quarters by five and a half, but some of them were three quarters by five and a half, give or take a little bit. And I didn't realize that till the end, so I ended up having to cut the pieces anyway. So this is uh, the start of building the carcass here. Um, the back panel and the uh, bottom were pretty much just butt joints because I felt that I didn't need any more than that. The design was pretty simple. There was a couple of rabbits in it from the manufacturer, so that's what I decided to go with. Here you could see the two oak center dividers I put in here, and uh, that'll be just compartments. Now this entire project is oak, with the exception of the bottom. I used plywood because it was going to be covered with velvet anyway. What I'm working on here is the front. It's actually a single one by six piece, but I used a router and I used a special bit to carve in those little uh, false fronts. Now, the gaps in the false fronts are wider than I wanted. What happened when I started going, I had my jig going, my arm just kind of twitched uh, for whatever reason, and I made it uh, too wide. So what I ended up having to do was make them all look a little too wide. But in the end, I think it worked out okay. Here is one of the two vertical styles. This one's on the right side. There'll be another one on the left side, and this will kind of just finish out the decoration. Here you will see my first ever rabbit joint. I used a router. I bought a set of Diablo bits and uh, got it dialed in perfectly. And this is just a wide view of what it'll look like out front. Here's a glue up of the top cover. It actually consists of uh, six pieces. You got uh, three horizontal pieces plus the uh, left and right and front decorative edges. And I got to use my new Bessie clamps. I got them on clearance at Home Depot. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of these decorative pieces. Basically, what I did was I set up my table saw to cut uh, like a 16th wide and a 16th deep and ran the edges of the board uh, across it. I really didn't know any other way. Again, I was new to woodworking. This is the first or maybe the second real project I ever worked on. Here's just a zoomed out view of what the top panel looks like and it matches the furniture that exists pretty well. Here you'll see uh, a close up where I drilled the holes and how big those uh, false draw fronts look. Again, my arm twitched so I had to compensate for what happened. Here you'll see uh, I was pocket hole happy. Uh, I pretty much just got my pocket hole jig, but it was plywood going in and I felt for myself being new to this that it was probably the best way to go. Here I'm gluing on the back piece. This will be glued and screwed and this will uh, be what the top lid screws onto via the hinges. Here is just a test fit, making sure everything looks okay before I disassemble it and get ready to put some poly on it. 
Here's pretty much the finished product. It's got a couple of coats of poly. I usually use the spa urethane, but it dried out, so I used some white on poly. Got a couple of coats on there, and then I waxed it, and I used some uh, Quad Zero uh, steel wool to kind of clean it out. And here's just some velvet lining. Uh, the centerpiece was too small, so I had to put two pieces in there, but uh, you know, I'll clean that up at a later time. And here's the finished product. And I have to hide it, of course, because Don is nosy. This is like homemade edge banding. That's a, a side and an end grain joint with glue with that little notch there. You can actually see through it. The new DeWalt table saw did really good. Uh, good blade, good Diablo blade. Look how thin that is. That came from the back right there when I shaved it a long way just to trim it down a little bit. So here's the jewelry box I'm making. It's uh, 45 inches wide by 11 deep by um, 6 inches tall. The company went out of business, so I found a little thumbnail on the internet and I downloaded it and uh, designed my own. It's to match the furniture that we already have and it's a present for Donna. So there's some detail of the original furniture that it had. That's actually this whole piece you see here is six different sheets of wood or pieces, long strips to uh, give it a little character and strength over the years. Um, there's some details there. First coat of poly went on today and boy it looks really good with the poly on there. These are the fake draw fronts I made, designed, whatever you want to call it. The rail and style design. Looks really nice. This is coat number two of poly. Looks good. I had to do a little sand adjustment to the front lip of this where the router missed. And that's the bracket that holds the cover on. Actually, my poly dried out, so I had to get wipe on poly. Usually, I use spa urethane. There's there some little design elements I put on. Fake draw fronts are false, as they say. Fairly happy the way it came out. Learned a few things along the way for the next project. And after a little quad zero steel wool, low wax, this project will be done in knobs and hinges. So Don has given Natalia a bath, we're just finishing. Um, color's not precise, but then again, this furniture's 13 years old. Um, and obviously, you know, the oak. This matches somewhat better. This is a little darker than the rest, and that's why it looks like that. Uh, as you can see, the knobs are a little uh, bigger, maybe a little brighter too. Yeah, that might look a little better for you to see. Um, as you can see, this design here replicated it from here. There was a dark, deep bevel underneath here. As you can see, the tooling to get that double bevel little curve was like $150, and I was like, I can't do that. So I did a basic uh, round over and uh, sanded the round over here. And that's actually okay because if I want to do this bevel, as you see here. I would have had to have made this top uh, much thicker, this is three quarter inch stock, and farther out, and I think it would have looked a little silly at that point, because if you look, this already extends to here, but these are the measurements from from what they showed, so, and uh, let's see if it stays open, it doesn't, so um, what I'm going to end up doing is put a, a piston here to hold it open, or I can actually just pull this forward a little bit and that'll take care of that i had a feeling that might have been a, uh, an issue but uh i'm not too worried about it um anyway so i'm gonna tell her to come in and uh i did this early like i said because she's a little nosy so um i have a feeling i think i know what i can do to take care of this to keep it up like i said one of those little toy box hinges right there and uh 
Oh, I'll be back shortly. Hey, Donna. Yeah? Come here for a minute. Okay. Those people who left early are probably kind of feeling like shit now. now it took me a long time to make this, and I put a lot of effort into it. I want you to know. Yes. So close your... Well, come up. Don't look. Close your eyes. So keep your eyes closed. Okay, my eyes closed. Come in. But where, where's... Now I'm going to have you turn. Is there anything in the way? You might... Yeah. Go ahead and turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, hold on. Can I open my eyes? Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. <gasps> yeah. Natalia, don't yell. Can I open it? Yeah. Don't jump. I, I got to get some new velvet for it, but um, because it wasn't the right type. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. <laughs> and it looks... It all, it really, it matches. Yeah, it took me, like I said, it took me a long time to do. I had a couple of goofs along the way. This is a little wider on the side than I wanted. I'm surprised you didn't try to hide, don't, it doesn't open to me. I'm surprised you didn't try to hide this till our anniversary. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, there's no place really to put it, so. Yeah, get off the mat. So we'll back there. Beautiful. So now where is it going to sit, right? Are you going to lift the, up the there? mirror is on, well, I have to pull this away from the wall. The mirror lifts up, or you got to take out two screws. You lift the mirror up. This slides underneath, and all your jewelry here. And this you could, if you want, you can. It might be too wide now for this. You could put it in Natalia's room if you want, or something. My parents gave me that. Right, but I assume you're gonna pass it on to her at some point. But it looks pretty friggin' close to what we had. The only thing I'm thinking of doing is see these knobs. I couldn't find the exact ones. I'm thinking of taking the ones off your hope chest because they match their exact match. Yeah. And I put these on your hope chest because they're out there. You won't know the difference. And then do it unless I can find smaller ones because they're a little bigger. It might look a little odd. But like well, I said. Well, when you put it on, you'll see. <gasps> it's so pretty. I now, want to see. Yeah, yeah the, the, the felt kept stretching so I couldn't get it to stick see it? down. See it? <laughs> Don't touch. Nope. It's okay. you sharing this kind of a personal moment here uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you know when i put out a new video i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot have a great weekend